Hello guys, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful twin flame reading. I do hope you're well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in what you already know. I'm going to be using the power of love, first of all, for this reading. And I'm going to see what the Divine Masculine's current energy is, how they're feeling, what they're experiencing. I'll go on to some other decks as well and then I'll get some communication from the Divine Masculine's true self. And then I will be seeing what energy you're in, Divine Feminines, and what you need to know of how you're feeling today to support you to help you stay in that place of truth, to stay focused, to believe and trust in what you already know. So I'm going to get shuffling. These cards are very powerful, so bright and beautiful as well. So let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine's current energy, how they're feeling, what they're experiencing today. Thank you to all of you for the love and support that you give me. It means the world. I'm so very grateful to each one of you. And if you are new, I do use the labels Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, because that's how I channel. Please don't be offended. Just put it into your situation, how it resonates with you. I do realise it's just energy. So what is it we need to know about the Divine Masculine's current energy, how they're feeling? That one flew out, peacefulness and green coming through, which is, you know, the Divine Masculine's been in their heart space. The heart chakra is open. And there's so much love that the Divine Masculines do want to express. We know that they're working through this fear about this communication. So what else is it that we need to know today about the Divine Masculines? How they're feeling, what they're experiencing. Nice message, please. integrity you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action so every action they're taking they are coming from their integrity the truth of who they really are and at the bottom of the deck is forgiveness you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts so forgiveness is coming through again they're dealing with this forgiveness of self and forgiveness of things that have happened you know, like it says in the card, past hurts, things that have happened in their childhood, the way they've behaved as well towards you, all of those things are being heightened so they can forgive and forgiveness is a gift to themselves. And they could be worried about this forgiveness, you know, if you're going to be able to forgive them. And this is why they're fearful about communication. And forgiveness is going to bring so much peace for the divine masculines so you recognize that balance kindness and love bring calmness to your soul so this is where they want to be and this is you know some of your divine masculines are in this place of peacefulness since they've forgiven themselves and from coming from the place of truth as well and when they're speaking their truth coming from a place of honesty it is so much more peaceful for them. Life is so much more simple and peaceful when we speak our truth, when we're being ourselves. The transition of actually taking the mask down and being in that place of truth and could be shocking to other people. It does take courage and strength to be able to make the decision of putting yourself first and living your life in your truth. But in the long run, it brings this peace. So let's see what else comes through as well. I want to see what else is coming through um, before I go into this more. So I'm going to use the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck. I'm going to pick two cards from this deck and then I'll go into the communication as well. So we know as well, we've got the full moon in um, Sagittarius. We're still, you know, these energies of that is still affecting us. That was yesterday, so let's see what else is coming through for today. And we can hear in my voice it goes croaky every now and then, so fear and the throat shock activation. And, you know, they have got to speak to you with truth, which does create fear. Um, so, and now I feel as well they are fearful about, about you forgiving them. And they want this peacefulness between you two as well. So what else is going 
going on today with the Divine Masculines. What's their current energy? How they're feeling? What they're experiencing? Nice, clear message, please. And this is emotional week this week for the Divine Masculines as well. If you've checked out the weekly reading. Uh, trust, yeah. Trust and openness. And at the bottom of the deck is freedom, yeah. This is what they want, is this freedom. To set themselves free from the pressure they put on themselves for such a long time. And with forgiveness, that is going to be setting them free. From going over and over things, beating themselves up. And things that have made them feel uncomfortable and things that they've experienced in their life previously as a child or throughout their life letting go of all that is going to create so much freedom and it is all just forgiving themselves and forgiving the situation and everything that they're going through right now is leading them to this freedom this peacefulness and that starts from coming from a place of truth their integrity to trust that it's okay to be themselves, to speak their truth, to live their life in their truth, choosing themselves, to feel safe and trust, you know, to be open. And we've got the full moon there as well. And this isn't just a normal full, full moon, it's a super moon as well. So things are even more intense. So this could be really affecting the Divine Masculines. But everything they're experiencing is bringing them this freedom, peacefulness. It may not feel this right now, but they're really being pushed to trust and to open their heart and always be themselves from coming from a place of truth. Every action that they take in their life, and that is a huge change, so very intense energy for the Divine Masculines today. But they're being pushed and forced to trust to get to this place of peacefulness. And it has to be, being honest. Um, and open. So I'm going to move them down more so I can get some communication. So I'm going to use the Divine Masculine 101s to see what else comes through. And how the Divine Masculines are feeling and what they want to share and express to you in this energy that they're in today. But again, I said, you know, it is an emotional week as well, so things are intense. So what is it the Divine Muskins would love to share and express? That one flew out. <laughs> there you go. I want to be myself with you. There you go. I want to be honest with you. I want to show you my authentic self. I want to be open. And this is what they're learning and being forced to, to trust. <laughs> change is so much change is happening. <clears throat> I want to be able to be myself with you. What else is it that the Divine Muslims are going through today? And what is it they'd love to share and express from their true self? Nice, clear message, please. Let's see. That one wanted to come out, which goes with everything that I've picked up on this energy today. You are the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. And I'll get one more. I get so mad at myself about how I treat you, which goes with forgiveness. And I think about how much I love you. Yeah, I think about how much I love you all the time. And I think about how I want to be myself with you. So I can actually tell you that I love you. That you make me happy. That I want to share my life with you. Because you are the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. You are my everything. And I get so mad at myself about the way I've treated you that I haven't shown you who I truly am that I've hidden things from you and some of the actions that I've taken and behaved towards you and I'm really having to deal with this forgiveness forgiving myself for all of those things So yeah, intense guys. Um, so next I'm going to use my new deck 
Divine Masculine Secrets because I'm so excited about this deck and obviously I want to bring through the different messages of communication for you to see as well guys so if you're interested in any of the communication decks that I'm using my deck and Liz's deck my other decks and George's decks as well the website you can purchase them from is in the description box down below so let's see what is it that the divine masculines are feeling and what is it they're wanting to express and share from their true self to the divine feminines nice clear message please i've been working through all my insecurities that i've been hiding from you there you go i love you more than you will ever know your eyes are the most beautiful eyes i've ever seen <laughs> they melt your eyes and it hurts so much not being with you physically right now but i know our preparation is all part of us becoming the best versions of ourselves for our future together yes however it painful it seems right now not physically being with each other the, the divine muskins are aware that this preparation is helping you both become the best versions of yourself for this beautiful future ahead because you couldn't carry on the way things were because of how you both felt about yourself and your outlook on life all of that has to be <laughs> deleted you know you've, re you've been reprogramming -pro yourself guys allowing the old to fall away and you know that sounds all good and easy but it is a painful process i understand that they experience that and it hurts so much not being with you and they love you more than you'll ever know and i know that that means a lot to some of you because your divine muskins haven't shown and share how they truly feel with you but they do love you and this is what they're working towards to be able to express and share that with you coming from their integrity and they have been working through these insecurities that they've hidden from you and working through your insecurities and actually feeling the fear sitting in the fear is uncomfortable and very emotional but they're doing this and they are being so supported and protected and loved in this time of sitting in their fears facing these insecurities and completely turning them around and again when we are feeling the fear we don't feel like that anybody's helping us we're like yeah well where is you know, what are you doing for me to help me because we want to get away from it we want to move away from it but that is actually the high love, us actually sitting, you know, we're being loved, sitting in this fear, facing these insecurities, so we can get rid of it, so we can move through it, they're, they're moving through this, and your eyes are the most beautiful eyes they've ever seen, they love your eyes so much, <laughs> that's pretty special isn't it guys, so I'm going to get a card for you now, Divine Feminines, to see what energy you're in, and to see what you need to know to help you today and i'm going to use the power of love for you as well such a beautiful deck like i said so bright and beautiful and so powerful so what is it the divine feminines need to know right now in this moment of this reading today what's their current energy how they're feeling and what is it they need to hear of what they're feeling today to support them to help them move forward to keep moving through this discomfort. <clears throat> nice clear message, please. Release. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. So release all your worries, release all the fear, hand this over to God, to the universe and it's, it is unwanted and you can't, won't believe it guys forgiveness is at the bottom of your deck as well this deck as well <laughs> that i did for the divine masculines and you know you heard me shuffle so forgiveness coming through releasing things from the past you know going over things about how you and your divine masculine going over things and you know things that you could have experienced with the divine masculine going over them letting go releasing that forgiving yourself 
for the way you've treated yourself for such a long time, forgiving yourself of how you've reacted towards your divine masculine maybe. Everybody's story and journey is so different, it's unique to them, so you just have to put it into your situation. You know what this is of what you've got to release, this fear, and it could be lots of things other things in your life as well that you're having to deal with but fear isn't part of you it doesn't belong with you so allow this to fall away release it and hand all your worries your concerns the doubts and the fears over to god to the universe because everything is being taken care of there is nothing to worry about even when you're feeling this discomfort, this pain, you're just sitting in the fear and you're being loved and you're being forced to trust. The same as the Divine Masculines. And the reason why this is the Divine Masculine's current energy as well is because that's what you've been doing. You've been working through this. And whatever you're doing for yourself, you're, you're helping your Divine Masculine. But you being you, being in your truth, Choosing yourself, learning to love yourself, that is you loving your divine masculine. So release these unwanted fears. And you do have the strength and the ability to sit in this fear, face this fear, to release it. Because you are so loved. And you are safe. And I know that majority of you, that, that is the fear about you and your divine masculine, you know, are you going to come together or have you made this whole thing up? Release all of that. When you're feeling fear, it means that we are disconnected to source, to God, the universe, spirit, whatever word you prefer to use. And in the process of releasing, take care of yourself as well, rest and adapt your day to how it works for you. Because it is a very delicate time. And that is showing God, the universe, that you are taking care of yourself and you are putting yourself first by resting, by allowing yourself to feel whatever it is to get rid of it. And it is exhausting. So be kind to yourself during this release. So I really do hope this has been helpful and that you are well and you're coping with this super moon, <laughs> full moon in Sagittarius. Um, and when we have these moon cycles, we, we do have to release so much. So look after yourself. Um, and I hope you understand what's going on with the Divine Masculines as well today. Um, if any of you guys would like any extra support and you would like any of the off the services that I offer, just look in the description box down below and all the information is there. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. And thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you give me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light and I love you all so very much. See ya! Oh. What's your soul saying? Oh.